Hey guys, this is Kitty Plays here, and today we are doing our very first episode of Kitty Fixes. So, um, in this series, we are going to be posting once a week, every Tuesday. Um, and it's... I'm just gonna be fixing EA lots. Um, I'm probably gonna do mostly houses, just because community lots, um, scare me a lot. It's fine. Uh, I'm just really bad at doing community lots, um, but it, eh, whatever. <laughs> so in this episode we are doing the Bedlington Boathouse, which is the starter home that is in Brindleton Bay. Um, and Brindleton Bay is the world that came with cats and dogs, if you guys didn't know. Um, I really love this world so much. And, um, I didn't love this house, so I decided I needed to renovate it, like, immediately. Because, uh, yikes. It, it was, um, very yikes. If you guys hadn't seen it, um, before it had been renovated, there will be before and after screenshots at the very end, though. So you will kind of see what I mean. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I really like how this house turned out in the end. Um, I turned it from a... One bedroom, one bathroom, to a two bedroom, two bathroom, which I know isn't a lot, but it's more than it was. Um, and it ends up being there, there is a toddler room and then a bathroom downstairs and like all the, you know, community living space downstairs. And then upstairs is just kind of like a master suite, I guess, um, or like a master loft, if you want to call it that, because... Um, the bedroom isn't actually a room, you just walk up the stairs and it's all there. Um, so the only actual room upstairs is the bathroom, which is fine. <laughs> um, and then upstairs there's also a little study area as well. Um, so if your sims want to get their learning on, um, yikes, why did I say that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, so there's like enough, there's like, uh, stuff up there for your sims to sims to do and right now I'm just working on the out exterior of the house because lately that's been definitely my favorite part um is working on exteriors just making them super detailed and um you know I don't know it's just one of those things like I don't know if it's a phase that's happening with me or what but I I've really been enjoying the ex doing exteriors of houses um so yeah I hope you guys enjoy how this exterior turns out as well I think it turns out very cute, and I love it to death. Um, I actually want to play in this house, but I don't know if I ever will, just because I don't really know where when I would use it, you know? Um, it's just one of those things. Since it's, only, since it's like a relatively small house, too, I don't think I ever would, um, which is kind of upsetting. And listen, guys, I tried to use any other windows except the ones that came with cats and dogs, but I just love those windows way too much not to use them. Um, so yeah, this house has cats and dogs windows, um, which is fine, obviously. I just use them a lot. So I try to not let myself use them, but um, it doesn't work, clearly. So, you know, um, that's fine. But yeah, so if you guys do want to download this house, it is on the gallery under the hashtag KittyPlays or my origin ID, which is KittyPlays, but the Y is an I in Kitty, um, because KittyPlays spelled regularly was already taken. Ooh, I'm bitter about it. Um, I almost kept my old origin ID, then I was like, eh, maybe not. Um, so yeah, it is KittyPlays. K-I-T-T-I-P-L-A-Y-S. Uh, I sound like I'm in Fergalicious when Fergie is like F to the E to the R-G-I-E-E. I-E-E. -E. No. From the F to the E to the R-G-I-E. -E. I don't know. Um, Fergal- I don't know. Fergalicious is like my Jimmy Jam, if you guys didn't know. Um, yeah. I don't know. I love that song. And I can like do the whole rap part perfectly. Um, just in case you guys were wondering what skills I have, <laughs> that is one of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. The all the time, all the time I turn around, but brothers get around, always looking at my left and looking at my uh, that part. Um, wow, that was yikes. Um, yeah, the the rap in for delicious. Um, if you guys don't know the song for delicious, like get off my channel, okay, thanks. 
Um, I'm kidding. Please stay. Just listen to the song. Because it's my Jimmy Jam. And also, um, another song that is my Jimmy Jam is Jenny from the Block. Because if you guys didn't know, my name is Jen. And at work, I get called Jenny from the Block. And I love it. Um, and ever since I've started getting called that, Jenny from the Block has been like my anthem. And it's great. Um, yeah. I don't know. Just saying. <laughs> like, if you don't know those two songs, like, know them. <laughs> uh, just a thought. It's fine. Um, but yeah, still definitely working on the outside of the house. Like I said, um, I've been putting a lot of detail into the house, the outsides of houses lately. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's just one of those things that I do. And also, um, the part with the stone, which ends up being the kitchen, I feel like, um, that part is kind of more a extension that was added onto the house later. Um, like, as though, as though, like, the original, like, tri- or not triangle, the original rectangle they had for the house, like, without the kitchen, um, was, like, the original part of the house, and then the porch and the kitchen were an add-on, um, one addition, which I, I kind of thought was a really cool idea, and, um, I do like how it turned out, so, yeah. Um, though if it were real, the shingles would be on the other wall of the kitchen, which I could have done, and I feel like I would have liked it if I had done that, um, but I didn't really think about kind of this plot if, um, up until now. So, yeah. Um, but if you guys want to do that, then definitely. And there is no CC in this house, so you guys can definitely go and download this on the gallery. K-I-T-T-I-P-L-A-Y-S. Um, or hashtag kitty plays. So, yeah. Um, you guys are definitely gonna need cats and dogs, obviously. Because Lord knows I used a lot of cats and dog stuff because, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a, it's in the cats and dogs world. Like, how could I not? Um, and there's a pet bowl. I think I made it for dogs. Um, like, I think I put, like, a dog bed and dog toys in here, but I can't remember 100%. So, I'm not sure. Um... (laughs) I don't know. Now we're working on the kitchen, which uh, doesn't end up being very great. I don't really like how it turned out, honestly. Um, though I do like the like counter choice and stuff, um, because I feel like it brings out the more yellowy brown tones in the stone that I use for the backsplash. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of my thoughts on it, which is... I don't know. And you guys definitely want to have move objects on as well when you download this house because lord knows uh, I can't build a house without using move objects on. So, (laughs) the more you know about me, right? Um, yeah, but anyways, so the day I'm recording this is New Year's Day, actually. Um, so Happy New Year to me. Um, I guess, like, you guys already know it's the new year and stuff like that by the time this goes up. But, um... Yeah, so I, I don't know, I stayed up until midnight last night, kind of unintentionally. Um, I just kind of go to bed whenever I'm tired, really, um, because that's just what I do. It works better for me, um, because, like, if I try to go, go to bed before I'm tired, I end up, like, being miserable and, like, overthinking laying in bed, um, because that's how my mind works, um, so yeah, I went to it at like 12.30 last night, which is weird for me because I didn't stay up for New Year's last year um, because I was just really uninterested in it. And this year I was I was un- frankly uninterested too because I just don't really care about New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Um, I'm like, you know, it's just another day, like whatever. Um, it, it came and it went basically is what I say about like most holidays, which is kind of sad, I guess, like really like pathetic and stuff, but meh. Um, but yeah, so like, I don't know, do you guys have any New Year's resolutions that you want to share with me? Um, I don't really have any because I like, I don't really ever make any because I always know I'll just end up like breaking them, you know? Um, but I, I want to, um, 
I don't know, get healthy, which, um, in my terms, like, because I, I feel as though I'm big, um, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> but, like, I kind of feel like I'm a little bigger than I would like to be, um, so I just want to feel like I'm healthy, you know, um, so I want to lose a little bit of weight, um, but I phrased it differently, so, like, if I don't lose any weight, I won't be mad at myself, um, but yeah, so that's one I want to, um, quit soda, which I tried last year and I did pretty good, um, but then I ended up breaking probably, like, halfway through the year, so I did really good, um, considering, but it was just kind of one of those things. Um, I do definitely want to try it again because I did have, like, more energy and I was losing a little bit of weight, and, um, I just want to have more me time as well because, I, I'm one of those people that tends to make room for others before I make room for myself, which I know isn't good, um, so I'm gonna try to fix that, and I'm also gonna try to read more because I have loads of books, and, um, I really do enjoy reading, it just takes me a lot to get kind of into a book, which, um, is kind of upsetting, but, like, I got... One of my friends got me a book for Christmas. I got, like, two or three books for my birthday. Um, I got myself some some books because I went to Barnes & Noble for the first time last year. Um, so I got a bunch of books from there. And, I don't know, I just had... I don't know. I have a lot of books that I want to read. Um, like, I'm reading this one now. It's called Speak um, by Lori Hulse Anderson. And it's so good. It's really sad. Um, well, not, like, really sad, but, um, it's, like, pr relatively sad, which, um, is a thing, um, that I like. I like kind of sad, sappy books, like, Nicholas Sparks is, like, one of my favorite authors, like, Loki. Um, but I also have, like, Pet Cemetery 1984, which is my all-time favorite book, um, 13 Reasons Why. Like, if you guys have seen the show but not read the book, like, I highly suggest you read the book. It's so good. Um, but not if you want spoilers on the show. So, like, I don't know. If you don't care about the spoilers, then definitely go and read the book. Um, because the book, like, just hit its 10-year anniversary last year? Or was it the year before it hit its 10-year anniversary? Um, I don't know. It recently hit its 10-year anniversary. So I have the, um, 10-year anniversary edition, which is really nice. Um, I really love it. And I also gifted a 10-year anniversary copy to one of my teacher that introduced me to the book. Um, so I thought that was pretty fun. Like, I saw it online and I was like, I need to order this. And they were, like, more expensive than I would have liked to spend. But um, that book, like, kind of low-key, like, changed my life. So, <laughs> um, and it really, like, hits home and stuff like that. So um, that's that's why I spent so much money on that book. Um, and I wanted to give him one as well, just because, just to kind of thank him for introducing me to that book, um, because it was, the, if you guys haven't seen it, haven't seen the show or read the book, it's really intense, but, like, in a good way, you know? Um, so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to thank him for that, so I got him the 10th anniversary edition while I got myself one, um... And yeah, he really appreciated it, so that was nice. And now we're into before and after screenshots. Um, I really love how this house turned out, guys, honestly. Um, and if you guys do as well, it is on the gallery under the hashtag K-I-T- No. <laughs> under the gallery name K-I-T-T-I-E-P-L-A-Y-S or the hashtag Kitty Plays. Um, so feel free to go and download if you guys so wish um, because it is CC free. So, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go right meow, though, so I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon, evening, or whatever, wherever you are in your neck of the world, and I post new videos all the damn time, so I will see you all in the next video.
Thank you so much for watching, and if you guys want to become a popper, be sure to hit that subscribe button.